Welcome back. In today's video, we'll be looking at digital sketch notes as a creative way to share our learning, along with a couple of tools and tips that you can use when you get started making your own sketch notes. As you may have guessed by looking at the word sketch note, it combines sketching or drawing with writing notes. The cool thing about sketch noting is that it's a way to process information and take notes as a learner, but also to share those notes with someone else to showcase your learning. There are quite a few tools out there that you can use to create digital sketch notes, but a couple of the most popular ones are Procreate, Autodesk Sketchbook, and of course, Keynote. Just a reminder, this is a digital sketch note, so you will need an iPad and a stylus or Apple Pencil. Let's have a look at a couple of examples, and I will share some tips and tricks for you when you start your own digital sketch noting. This sketch note was made using Autodesk Sketchbook app, but could easily be made in Procreate or Keynote as well. Notice how I used colored wavy lines to help separate the page into different sections. The use of icons and images along with text make this more visually appealing for the audience. In this sketch note, drawings, diagrams, and key vocabulary are used in a creative way to showcase the learning about a scientific topic. This one was also made using the Autodesk Sketchbook app on iPad. This sketch note was made using the Keynote app drawing tools on iPad. It uses colored text boxes as well as a table to organize important information. On this one, the use of bullet points, a flow chart, and different shapes, colors, and icons adds to the visual appeal, while handwritten and typed text help communicate information that is important. When creating your own sketch notes, remember you can use basic shapes and lines to do many things, like separate out information, create depth, make something stand out, or simply guide a reader across the page. Text boxes, banners, and speech bubbles are commonly used in sketch notes because they are interesting to look at and can be used to organize information for your reader. Arrows are an easy way to show connections between ideas and help draw attention to specific areas of the page. And finally, the use of simple icons can help readers visualize the information that's presented and makes it nicer to look at. Remember, sketch notes are not pieces of artwork and the purpose is to share learning. These icons and drawings are meant to be simple so that they don't take too much time or skill to create. No matter what the topic or subject of your sketch note is, you should always be applying the basic design principles. You can refer back to the CARP design principles at any time when using digital creative tools to show your learning. Check out the other video if you need a reminder about what these principles are. I hope this video was helpful for you and that you've gained some tips and tricks to start your first or your next sketch note. Until next time.